Okay, I'm going to start with primer. I'm going to use the Balance Me Instant Lift Primer. And so here is the box it comes in. It just says um, The Ordinary on there. Uh, yeah, this is in the colour 1.0N, which is very fair, neutral. It just says on there. It's got all the details on the side. Um, then you just open it up. And this has got like a cap on it. It's a pump, but it hasn't got a cap. And you just sort of pop it out. It's got like a little one of those tabs to like keep it in there. And it just looks like this. If this is 30 millilitres, um, it looks smaller than that, but it's not. Because if you take like another foundation, let me just grab my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. Um, yeah, this one's 30 millilitres as well. Yeah, so this one's 30 mil, and this is as well. I'm just trying to find where it says. There we go, yeah. So these are both 30 mil, but obviously, like, they're like really different in size, but I think it's just because this is quite compact and like the packaging isn't really thick or anything. Um, so I'm going to apply this with my Rodial the foundation brush um, because this is like my go-to brush and I use that primer because I really trust that primer. I've used that quite a lot and I've really been enjoying that one recently. I'm also trying to use it up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to put a bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to start applying it. Um, I also just shook the bottle up a little bit because it does say on there that you need to shake before applying. And I've just put a bit on the back of my hand. I think this is like a fairly good match for me. It should be just about right. It looked fine on my hand, so fingers crossed. Okay, so so far it's reminding me of the Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation quite a lot. Um, yeah, it looks quite a lot like that foundation. And even though this is a stippling brush, um, it doesn't usually make foundations go streaky. This looks the tiniest bit streaky still, just a little bit. Um, I don't know. It looks a little bit dry. I mean, I have got dry skin, so but that um, primer is quite moisturising. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just sort of blend back over some of the areas that are looking a bit, a bit dodgy, and um, that'll just help to sort of bring a bit of hydration back to the skin as well. I'd really recommend doing this if you've got dry skin but don't like applying foundation to the beauty blender. Um, I usually just sort of go in with them after I've used a brush. Um, it looks okay. I wouldn't say that I love it. I'm going to put on a tiny bit more just to see how that goes. Um, it's called the coverage foundation, but like I don't... Or just coverage foundation. But it's not like the most insane coverage in the world. Like you can still see quite a lot of my skin through it. Which, you know, I don't mind because, I mean, I like a foundation to not be too, like, cakey and heavy or, like, too, too full coverage. But, I don't know. When the colour goes on, it looks alright, but it's drying a little bit dark. So, i just be aware of that. I did see people say, like, I'll oh, make sure to get, like, even get a colour, like, a shade lighter. Um, but this would be, there was no other light colours. This is, like, the lightest possible colour. And... It does look a little bit dark on me. Sorry, I just realised I had foundation like on my lips. Um, so I'm just blending back over with the beauty blender. It looks quite nice now. I think it's good to like you can definitely build it up and it doesn't go all funny. If anything, I think it looks better with the second um layer on. Um yeah, I'm quite liking the way it looks now. How it looks on camera, it looks a tiny bit better on camera than it does in person. But I do like it. Yeah, I think it looks nice. I think I'd have to use this on a day when my skin wasn't too super dry. Because I think if my skin was too dry, it would look like too matte. But for now, I think it's okay. So I've just got in my bathroom to like look at some different lighting. And I do think this is like bringing out the texture of my skin. You probably can't really see it on camera. You might be able to see it just here. Like it's sort of bringing out like the texture and making it look a bit cakey. And I don't really have particularly textured skin, so that's kind of a bit annoying. Um, obviously, I'm going to be like analysing this quite a lot because, um, you know, I'm doing a review. But yeah, it's okay. I'm not sure. I have to see how it wears. Because I've heard some people say that it wears really badly. I'm just going to put on some concealer while I while I talk. Um, this is just the collection Last Imperfection concealer. Yeah, I heard some people say that it doesn't look that good after like. A few hours so I'm gonna give it a little bit of time and I'll try and do a check-in I can't do like an eight-hour wear 
um, test or anything like that. But I'll try and like wear it for like a little while. Because the thing that I noticed is people saying that they had issues after just like two hours. Which is kind of a problem, you know. I like a foundation to at least last a good sort of, you know, six hours looking nice at least. Um, but that's just me personally. It depends how long you wear your makeup for. But hopefully this is alright. See, it looks a bit better now I've put the concealer on because I was having issues under my eyes. But that's because my under eyes are quite dark anyway. So it's usually hard for me to cover them with foundation. Um, so yeah. I kind of like the way it looks now. I'm just going to sort of lightly powder it. I'm not going to put like too much powder on because, um, you know, I don't. I want to give it like a fair chance. I don't just want to cake my face with powder and then it goes like too matte or too cakey. I'm just going to take a bit of the Makeup Revolution banana powder and I'm just going to lightly sort of swell this on because I don't really want to over powder because this is kind of like a matte finish I'd say. Okay, so my skin is powdered. It's looking a bit cakey in between the brows. That's why I'm like noticing some issues. Um, but I did just pluck my eyebrows. So I think the skin around my eyebrows is like being a bit of a pain. So, you know, that might be user error. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe like film another video, chill out for a bit, and I will come back. Let me just check what the time is now. Okay, so the time is currently quarter to three. Um, I've always said UK time, like it matters. <laughs> yeah, so time's quarter to three. I'll try and wear it for like, I don't know, like at least like an hour. Um, I would do a bit of a longer wear test, but I've got to go out to the gym and stuff later. And I kind of want to see like, does this break down within the first hour? That's like my main like testing point. So I'm going to go do some other bits and then I'll come back and we'll see how this looks at the end. Okay, so it's been an hour since initial application. Um, I did the choosing random colours makeup um, tag challenge thing which is why I might look a little bit like you're wearing a lot of bright colours what happened um, but basically it's holding up quite well um, I'm just looking right around my nose and stuff and the cakiness seems to have like gone away now um, it almost looks better now that it's been on my skin for like a little while I sometimes find that when you use like a brand new foundation you've got to sort of like your skin's got to get used to it and you've got to get used to you know what's the exact best way to apply it because you know everything's different every formula is different it's like the tiniest bit dry, sort of in between my eyebrows here. And like a tiny, tiny bit like cakey looking here. But I get that all the time, like with basically most foundations. So, you know, I think when you consider the price of this foundation, it's already doing like a really nice job. Um, yeah, it's not wearing off weird. It doesn't look like a strange colour or anything. So, so far so good. And yeah, it has been an hour since I initially put this on. So, looks like... The people who said that you know it wears off really quickly in the first hour maybe that's like for oily skin but i think for dry skin it seems to hold up pretty well for the first hour okay so sorry if the light looks a bit funny um but the weather's just sort of changed outside um it's been like another like half an hour but i was like looking at my skin and there's definitely some like wearing off look around my nose and it's like a little bit like funny like round the corners here like i'm looking at my skin and i don't love the way it looks like I feel like it could look better. So I might try this out with a couple different primers and see how that goes. But for now, I'm just going to sign off and say that I'm not sure about this foundation yet. I'm really not sure. I'd give it like a 3 out of 5 stars, like I like it. But I'm not 100% sure yet. So, you know, for the price, I am impressed. You know, it's a nice, pretty nice colour. Sorry, there's people honking at each other outside. Do you mind? Um... <laughs> So yeah, I do like this foundation, it's a nice colour, I do like the sort of finish of it, um, I'm just not sure about the wear, but yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll keep you updated, and I can always post in the comments and let you know how it wears for like the rest of the evening, so I really hope you enjoyed this review video, and I'll see you in the next one, thanks so much for watching, bye!